For birders or any bird enthusiasts, spring is a wonderful time. Many birds are returning after all winter, bringing with them not only the sunnier days, but their lovely songs. Winter isn't completely songless, though. Many resonant birds, ones that don't migrate, such as our friendly neighborhood chickadees, may start singing as early as December, with things really picking up in March, though. There are a few reasons why birds sing, and one of them may even include purely for pleasure. Before I touch on this intriguing discovery, it's important to first know the difference between a song and a call. Generally speaking, birdsong is more complex with a musical quality and a clear pattern. They are normally only sung by male songbirds. However, we are learning that many species have females that sing too. Think of the northern cardinal for an example. A few examples of bird songs that many people would have heard before include the American Robin's Cheer Lee song, the White Throated Sparrow's Oh Sweet Canada Canada song, and the Black Capped Chickadee's Hey Sweetie song. So that's a few examples of what songs sound like. Now for what calls are. Normally, calls are made by both sexes. They are usually shorter and on the simple side. Like this call of the white-throated sparrow. Or this one of the American robin. Calls are used for different reasons than songs. Usually, they serve to locate one another or to let each other know of a potential threat. With bird songs, there are two main accepted reasons for why they do it. For one, to advertise to other males that this particular territory is already occupied, so stay out. The other reason is to send a message out to any nearby females that may be looking for a mate. When it comes to singing, songbirds typically do the majority of it in the morning or late afternoon. During this time of the day, there is less ambient noise, therefore allowing their voices to be heard easily by rivals or potential mates. For the most part, singing takes place from late winter to the end of breeding, when their duty of raising babies has been fulfilled. This is especially the case for migrating birds, rather than species that remain all year on their breeding grounds, such as northern cardinals, chickadees, or Carolina wrens, who continue to sing throughout fall and winter. With young songbirds, however, they can be heard singing whether they are migrating species or not. In this case, they aren't doing it to claim territory or to attract a mate, though. Instead, they are doing so to practice. Juveniles need to learn songs from adult tutors, so they listen in and over time develop their own tune, usually by the time they are a year old. So singing is also used for training. In fact, even adult songbirds who have a fully developed song are thought to do rehearsal singing, warming up before the actual performance. Surprisingly, there seems to be one other reason for why birds sing. For enjoyment. This may be more the case for birds when they sing during fall, non-mating times, rather than spring. There are no mates to attract or territory to defend, especially for migrating birds, which means they may be doing it for fun. There are ways to see if this is the case, seeing how they respond to feel-good chemicals when injected with them, which is exactly what researchers at University of Wisconsin-Madison did. Female starlings were injected with a feel-good chemical, fentanyl, 
Not really sure how I feel about that, but anyway, what took place afterward was a significant increase in singing for these individual birds. Since those birds reacted to the feel-good chemicals by singing a lot more, it seemed to reveal the reason behind, or at least the driver, for why birds sing in the first place. It feels good. Of course, though, it could just be that the drug opened the reward centers of their brain, causing them to want to sing. I don't feel completely sold on that discovery, but if nothing else, it at least showed that they do have the capability to do things just for fun. Or that singing has a pleasurable or enjoyable aspect to it. When it comes to wild birds, though, any form of play is risky. There are predators to watch out for. With that said, one will not hear birds singing in the forest if a predator is near. So, if everyone is singing, it could be a good sign to others that now is a safe time to indulge in a little enjoyment. So that's what the research uncovered, and while I'm aware that there is a touch of anthropomorphism in how I share my observations of the birds I know very well, their ease with my presence has allowed me to see a side of them a lot of us miss out on. I could be wrong, and I'm definitely not saying this is a solid fact, but when I watch birds singing, oftentimes I can swear that I see a twinkle in their eyes. A kind of happiness seems to emanate from them while in the act. I certainly felt that from a wonderful hermit thrush a few years ago. Before he sang, he hopped onto the branch with such enthusiasm. He actually seemed to be feeling good and proud. With a voice like that, so he should be. Whatever the true reality of this is, it is at least an interesting topic, and it would be pretty cool if they really do enjoy singing. Regardless of whether they do or not, one thing is for sure. We enjoy their songs. Especially ethereal bird songs like that of the hermit thrush. Learn a little about their song and the effect it has on people in this video on the screen now. Thank you for watching. Happy birding. The effect they can have on our human mind is an indescribable experience.